Hey guys, so in my previous video, I mentioned a program that I wrote called Circle Tracker. So I just thought I would show you guys what it's all about since I thought some of you might find it interesting. But basically, uh, it's a program that can help you take your Osu gameplay to the next level. So the way this thing works is, uh, you leave it in the background, and whenever your cursor is slightly off on a circle, it automatically corrects your aim so that you Alright, so I'm just going to show you how this thing works. So, this is Circle Tracker. This is what it looks like when you open it up. And to demonstrate how this thing works, I'm just going to uh, play a random map. And it doesn't even have to be submitted. Like, it could be uh, something generated from... What's it called? Osu Trainer? So I'm just going to play a bit of this map. Alright, that was pretty good. So I'm going to... Uh, hit quit and I don't know if you heard that but it played a sound and that's how you know um, it recorded the play into your spreadsheet so if you open up your spreadsheet and not your script then you can see that it recorded the play it's here see 81 hits uh, so once the data is in here uh, the program's job is done uh, so in the other tabs of the spreadsheet then it's a bit more interesting so here I'm basically just uh, presenting the data in interesting ways. So for my case, I'm trying to get faster, so I'm interested in seeing how many 7 star 230 BPM maps I'm playing. Uh, I'm also able to set a daily goal for myself, so every day I'm trying to play a certain amount of these maps uh, in order to fill up these green bars. So yeah, that's basically the gist of um, this spreadsheet system. Alright, so now I'd like to show you guys how to set up Circle Tracker for yourself. So the first thing you want to do is, you want to click the link in the description to download Circle Tracker. So make sure you download the RAR file. Uh, once the download is done, extract the RAR, uh, go into the folder, and then run circletracker.exe. So a few people have told me, um, when they try to run the exe, then this message appears. So if it does appear for you, then just click yes, and then follow the instructions to install uh, .NET Core. And then it should work. Uh, so this is what it looks like when you first open it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is point the program to where our songs folder is. So the next thing we need is a Google Sheets API key, which is what this credentials.json thing is. So to do that, go to the Google Developer Console page, uh, link in the description. So just click through these menus, I guess. Um, and when you see this page, click Create Project and name it whatever you want. Once that's done, uh, click Enable APIs and Services. Scroll down a bit till you see Google Sheets API. And then click Enable. Then uh, click Create Credentials. And then when it asks you which API you're using, select Google Sheets API. Uh, then for the next one, select Web Server, followed by Application Data. And then just click No on this thing. And then it's going to ask for a service account name. Uh, just put down anything here. And then for the role, select Project Owner. Leave the rest as it is, and then click Continue. So then a JSON file is going to be downloaded. Uh, this is going to be our credentials.json. So go to where it's downloaded, then rename it to credentials.json. Uh, sometimes Windows hides the file extension, so if if you look at the original name and it doesn't have .json in the name, then you just want to change the name to credentials without the .json. So then move this file to the same folder that circletracker.exe is located. So at this point, uh, circletracker should now say that credentials.json is found. So for the next step, we're going to create our spreadsheet. So if you click the link in the description, then it'll take you to a spreadsheet template. Go to File make a copy, and then give it a name. So now that we have our new spreadsheet, uh, copy this part of the URL and paste it into the spot where it says Spreadsheet ID. If we hit connect now, then it's going to say we don't have permission. So the last thing we need to do is go back to our previous tab where we created the credentials. And then at the bottom, it'll show you the email address for uh, the service account that just got created. So copy that address, then go to your spreadsheet, click share, and then paste in the address. 
and make sure it's set to editor. So finally, if you hit connect, then it should all be green. So I'm just going to test this out real quick. Uh, so here you see me playing a map and then once I'm done, it appears in the spreadsheets. So at this point, uh, the, the setup is pretty much complete now. Alright, so now let's take a look at the main spreadsheet page. Uh, so one thing I just want to clarify is uh, what exactly these numbers mean. So when it says, for example, that I got 5,355 hits on May 17th, uh, this doesn't mean retries or plays or number of maps. Uh, this just means how many objects did I hit. So to be even more exact, uh, this is behind the scenes, this is just uh, counting the number of 300s plus 100s plus 50s I, that I got over all the maps that I played on May 17th. Uh, so with that out of the way, I just want to show you how to customize the sheet so it's more to your liking. Because right now it's basically just a copy of mine. Uh, so yeah, uh, the first thing you want to do right off the bat is change the starting date for all this data. So to do that, just click on the first date and then press control semicolon. So make sure you don't change any of the cells uh, below it since those have formulas which automatically update. So you only need to change the first cell in the date column. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to add a new counter to keep track of. And by that, I basically just mean uh, adding a new column to keep track of a certain category of maps. So let's say I want to practice reading low air hidden. So to do that, I'm going to right click on this E column, then insert a new column to the right, and then rename this header. So next is the hard part. We need a formula that, that can count all the objects that we hit today on maps that have low AR and were played with hidden. Now the formula for this is hella long and complicated, but luckily all we have to do is copy one of the already existing formulas and just change it up a bit. So looking at this formula, you can pretty much just ignore everything except for the part where it says stars is greater than or equal to 8 because this is the part we want to change. So instead of that, we can put something like uh, hidden equals 1 and then approach rate is less than 9. Now this is pretty much close to actually working except we got the variable names wrong. So if we want to uh, refer to hidden, if we want to refer to the cells for hidden and approach rates, this is actually the incorrect name. So how do you find the right name for that? So to do that, you go to data, uh, named ranges, and then there it'll list all the names for the data that we have available to work with. All right, so when you press enter, then it's going to apply the formula for the one cell that you typed it in. So to apply the formula to the entire column, you just, uh, you see this blue box on the bottom right? You just click and drag that and drag it for the entire column. Uh, so that's pretty much how you add a new counter. Now I want to show you how to add a new goal, which is basically just a counter with a daily progress bar attached to it. So to do that, I'm just going to get this graph out of the way and then basically just copy and paste these three columns. So to select these columns, just click on H, uh, hold shift, and then click J. Uh, then we're just going to copy and paste these to the right and change the header. So for this example, I think we're going to target 7 star hidden hard rock maps. So just like before, we're going to change the formula to target the right thing. And, and then yeah, it should basically just work I think. Um, except one thing you'll probably want to change is uh, how many hits your daily goal should be. Uh, so to do that, click on one of these percentage cells and then basically that that 10,000 that you see is your daily goal. So if you want to be even more hardcore than me, you can bump it up to like 20,000 and then make sure you change that number in uh, the cell with the progress bar as well. And then you're done. Actually, hold on. Uh, so one final thing you might want to change is the graph. So to change what gets plotted on the graph, uh, double click it, then go to setup, and then the main part you want to change is everything under series. So that's where you can add or remove stuff that you want to show on the graph. Uh, if you want to change the colors, go to customize, series, and then click on this drop down, uh, select the data points, 
and from here you can change what color it appears as. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover for the spreadsheets. Um, of course, if you have a good understanding of Excel, then you can pretty much do anything you want to the spreadsheet. Um, at the same time, I understand that not everyone is familiar with spreadsheets, especially the formulas that I came up with. Um, so that's why, if you go to my Discord server, then I set up a new channel for Circle Tracker. So if you need help with changing the spreadsheet or anything like that, uh, then just head on over there and I'll try to help you out. So the last thing I want to talk about is um, the API key, so like the credentials.json. So what if you lose the JSON and you need to get it back or like uh, someone gets a hold of it and so theoretically they have complete control over your spreadsheets. Well, uh, you want to go over to console.developers.google.com then on the left click on credentials and then click manage service accounts uh, click one of the accounts so so here's where you can manage your keys so let's say you lose your key and you need to get it back or someone takes your key um, what, what, what you should do is you should just delete the existing key delete it and then create a new key and that's it uh, so yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching till the end um, I know it's a lot to take in, but like uh, like I said before, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Discord if you need any help. Um, yeah, if you want to support me, please, please follow me on Twitch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really tired. I'm going to go to sleep and have the best sleep of my life. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.